So now we'd like to take a look at what the calendar looks like. Canvas includes an integrated calendar so that every course that you're associated with actually shows up on the same calendar. So we'll click on the word calendar and we will go out here and we will see the calendar for me. You'll see that I'm currently in the current month. I can have different views. I can look at the week view the month view. There's also a scheduler that we will cover in a subsequent video. Uh, we can change the months. We can go ahead and have a whole month here that we can move ahead and back but not change the actual month that we're looking at. Also you'll see in the lower right corner that there is all of these various calendars. The top one has your name on it and every Canvas user has their own calendar so that they can use it as a personal calendar if they so desire. Also every course that's listed here as a typical student would be involved in more than one course you can show or hide all of the courses at the same time. Right now the colors are already being placed here specifically by Canvas. I have no control over the colors. However, I can turn the calendars on and off. So right now this brownish color is for my test class. If I scroll down, the actual class I'm teaching is in this red color and you can see the different colors on the screen. The reason that you can turn them on and off is I may be interested in just looking at a particular week and I want to see all of the work that I have to do in a particular week uh, as a student and I can see that I've got a number of things due this week one on Wednesday and three things on Thursday if I wanted to just zero in on a particular course I can remove the other course and just zero in on the one course that I actually want to work on so that I can spend more time working on those particular s assignments. From the faculty standpoint you should know that all of these items were placed on the calendar automatically by Canvas. The basic unit of instruction within Canvas is called an assignment and when you create an assignment it does a lot of things for you automatically by creating an assignment and giving it a due date it's automatically placed on the appropriate calendar for that course. So I did not type or place any of these items on the calendar I simply created an assignment in the course and the calendar was populated. If I come over here and find out that there is a video test that was due on the 26th of March and something's happened where we've decided that okay it's no longer due on the 26th I'm going to move it to the 28th instead of going into the assignment and editing the assignment what I can do is point at the particular calendar entry I can click and then just drag it over to a new date and drop it on Friday the 28th and what's just happened is not only did I move it to the 28th but all of the details for that assignment have automatically been updated for me if I were to go back and look at the details for the assignment the date has been changed and also every student in that class has just received a notification uh, automatically to however they want to be notified whether it be email, text message, Facebook, whatever they've just received a notification that that due date has changed and all I did was simply drag it from one date to another. So that's the calendar. Uh, you can as I said use this as much as you want. You can also go ahead and use it for your personal calendar and everything could be on one place or you could actually pick up the calendar feed and send it out to another calendar that you have synchronized to your mobile device. So at this point we've now looked at everything on the navigation dashboard and we're going to move our uh, move over a little bit and look at the smaller links in the upper top. Canvas being a learning management system has a fully integrated email system which is called the inbox and the inbox allows for communication between faculty and student, between student and faculty, and between students and students. So let's enter the email system by clicking on the inbox link. 
when we get there it's set up like a fairly typical email system but you do need to know that this is uh, integrated within canvas and it's isolated it is not a way to send email to people's external email addresses only to people who are in the canvas system so on the left hand side I have my inbox and I have all of the various messages that I have been receiving and sending to the students for example here's a student here and you can see that there have been 20 messages or communications back and forth between the student and myself some of the icons that you would want to look at is first of all here's a gear icon and for this message if I click the gear icon you can see that I can delete the message archive the message activate the star system or mark it as unread. As I click on a message it opens up for full reading inside my window here and as I get through the one message I immediately go to the next and my entire thread of messaging with this student all of the 20 are all being able to be read right here. If I looked down the left hand side here you can see that there's the stars that we're talking about that I could actually click and activate a star and if I activate a star that means that I could filter then on all of the messages that I have decided should have stars if a message is unread you'll be able to notice that it's unread because there will be a blue dot right here on the message and the blue dot indicates that the message has is not been read okay so there's a blue dot right there telling me that that message is now not been read and of course I can mark it as read and I can also eliminate the star the little drop down box here allows me to pick between my entire inbox just looking at the unread messages looking at all the messages that I've chosen to star I can look at my sent messages and all the ones that I've chosen to archive because this is a universal email box it includes messages from all of the courses so therefore I can actually filter out according to my courses so I can enter a name a course or a group and I can simply click on this little icon here and you can see these are all the courses that I've been associated with and the arrow on the side allows me to drill down deeper and deeper. For example, if I go into uh, this particular course, a tech course, CIS 103, if I click on the arrow and drill down, I can see the messages and filter by the course, or I can get deeper. I can actually go to student groups, which I have created for this class. I can say group number four and I can say filter by this group and only the messages that went between that group and myself would appear. So here we have a way to filter and I should probably put a filter here just to show you that when I filter by the course there's the filter right up here and to stop the filtering I just simply need to hit my backspace key to remove the filter and that gets rid of that. If I want to send a message I can click inbox to refresh my reading pane here and I want to now send a new message in order to send that message I would do the identical thing I would click on the small icon and decide who I want to send it to and again I can drill down choosing everybody the teacher and all the students just the students, individual groups, here's select all the students or I can simply go down and put a check mark next to a particular student. Once I put their name there I can type my message and I can also send students attachments. So if I have documents I can go ahead and send the student an attachment. I can also initialize a microphone or a web camera and send them a multimedia message so that when they open their mailbox they would see a play button that they click and they could either listen to an audio message or watch a video. And that's it for the inbox. Now 
the inbox itself, you do need to come here to read the messages and the students need to do the same thing. However, one of the advantages of Canvas is that it has a customizable notification setting so that you can determine when you want to be notified about messages and where you will be notified. In a lot of learning management systems, you need to actually log into the system to find out if there has been any activity. Canvas allows you to receive notifications to any external email, to Facebook, through Skype, through Twitter, through LinkedIn, through text messaging. However you want to receive a notification, you'll always know that something has occurred within the Canvas inbox system. Also, if you're using the college's Outlook web app for your email, any of the messages that the students send actually, uh, by default, show up in your Outlook web email. And you are able to read their message. And you could actually click Reply from the OWA, or Outlook web app. You can click Reply, and that will go right back into the in this Canvas inbox right here directly from your Outlook web. The next thing we'll point out <coughs> across the top here, we've talked about the inbox. We're going to show you, <coughs> this is our logout system, and you really should pay attention and make sure that you click logout when you are leaving so that no one uh, actually can do things in your Canvas courses without your knowledge. So please be aware and be able to log out. Next we will go on to the help system and then we will take a look at the various settings.